all of you in this tutorial we are going to study about primary key alternate key foreign key and super key let us start with primary key now as per the definition primary key is defined as one of the candidate keys which has no null values there are two important things as per the definition one is candidate key and one is no null value now for the definition of candidate key please refer to my previous video let's discuss about what null is null is basically unknown therefore primary key is one of the candidate keys which has no unknown values okay let's take an example for primary key let's consider table 4 there are basically three attributes and four tuples we are able to clearly see that SID has the entries 1, 2, 3 and 4 now all the entries in this are unique in this column are unique and we are able to recognize each tuple separately with the help of entries of SID alone hence SID is the candidate key moving forward since SID is a candidate key can we term it as primary key the candidate key which has no null value is a primary key now according to this table there are no entries in SID having null therefore SID is also the primary key for this table since it is the candidate key and secondly it does not have any no null values it does not have any null values to differentiate SID that is our primary key from rest of the attributes I am underlining SID we will be following this practice in future also as per the rules there are two rules for primary keys to be followed first is no null values are allowed second for a given table at most one primary key is allowed that means for a given table at max only one primary key is allowed there can be no such table which has more than one or two or three primary keys the next part is alternate keys now all the candidate keys except primary key are known as alternate keys all the candidate keys except the primary key are known as candidate keys let's consider a Venn diagram for understanding it better let's take a circle this is a set of all the candidate keys In this set there might be a candidate key which is a primary key now the alternate keys will be all the candidate keys except primary key 
the region which I am marking right now will be alternate keys. These are all alternate keys. Now, there are basically two rules again for alternate keys to be followed that null values are allowed second more than one alternate key is also allowed consider another example for alternate keys consider table 3 it has 4 attributes and 5 tuples now in this table SID is able to identify each record uniquely and it does not have any null value so SID can be termed as primary key for this particular table similarly bank account has all the values unique in this particular table so SID is one of the candidate key, sorry bank account is one of the candidate keys also bank account does not have any null values so it can be the primary key but as per our rule of primary keys for a given table at most one primary key is allowed it can be either SID or bank account now for this table let me mark SID as our primary key so I am underlining SID SID is the primary key let's identify all the candidate keys in this particular table primary key is a type of candidate key therefore SID is the candidate key next bank account is able to identify this column and the whole tuples all the tuples uniquely therefore bank account is also a candidate key similarly voter ID is able to recognize each tuple uniquely hence voter ID is also a candidate key now apart from that table apart from this in, that in this table uh, name has redundancy therefore it cannot be qualified as a candidate key now in this particular table there are three candidate keys and out of which out of these three one is the primary key now as per our definition of alternate keys all the candidate keys except primary key is the alternate key therefore bank account and voter id are the alternate keys for this particular table now there is also a rule for a table to be followed that is there should be at least one candidate key which has no null values therefore for a table to exist we must have at least one primary key to identify each tuple uniquely the next part is super key as per the definition of super key super key is equal to candidate keys plus zero or more than zero attributes we will discuss about this in the next lecture thank you so much for watching